Gobblegook yeah. says, Do you guys have Far Cry 5 yet? My daughter is hogging the good PC of the house used <laughs> house to play it. The last games she really enjoyed were Breath of the Wild and GTA 5. Seems like a decent FPS so far. Uh, I don't even have it. I, I don't either. To, uh, here, So here's my review of Far Cry 5, having not only not played Far Cry 5, but not playing any of the Far Cry games, is it kind of looks like a generic shooter. I, I wanted to avoid it specifically because isn't one of the criticisms of Far Cry games that they've been samey lately? And we're, because we're not that familiar with many of the games. I've played Blood Dragon. Uh-huh. But... Can I ride this horse? Do I get an achievement for doing this? For riding the horse? Yay! Um, yeah, it just looked kind of generic to me. And so I... Ha I it, it hasn't even been something on my radar. I have not been interested in even looking at it. Because it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, what's that? Wait, horse. Wait, no. Horse. Dang, horse. What is that? Stop it. Oh, that's a thing. You dang horse. What's that? Oh, there's a stable. How close is that stable? Yeah, it's pretty close. All right, horse, let's go to the stable. Come on. Dummy horse. Go into the... St Stop it. Nope. Get out the... <clears throat> Most complaints and reviews I've seen have been that the game didn't make a political statement. That is so weird. <gasps> oh, wait, look. Is that the white horse? Yes. Oh, that's the good horse, right? Yes. Sorry, horse. You're yesterday's news. I just found the good horse. Rich Metal Gear is absurd and tragic at the same time, much like real life. I don't remember the last time I saw a flying fire whale. Or the last time somebody was possessed by the severed hand of my clone twin brother. I don't remember that. Maybe you just haven't been Maybe living. it's not just like real life. Maybe you just haven't been living, Rich. Maybe it's a game. And I, I don't like the tone they've struck in their particular game. And you can just deal with the fact that I don't like it while you yourself like it. And we can both go on. Ah! Do I not have enough stamina? Come here, horse. Don't run off a cliff, please. This is the good horse. So we, we want this horse. Drink and e oh a, a stamina potion yeah I think I think I'll try that this time is is up my stamina you know drink a stamina that might be wise because I think this horse might take a little bit more special horse Oh, what? Fucking horse. Get up, Link. You dink. Go, oh, fuck. Go, dink, go! Alright, we're just gonna, we're just gonna um, try again. I I'm gonna have to look into this Far Cry 5 review nonsense. I'm, I'm kind of curious what people are saying. It just looks generic. Well, I'm gonna get you, you horse. Well, they're getting mad at it for not being political things is strange enough. That I'm curious. If that if that's true, that is weird. About what the actual non-controversy is. Right. We're just curious about the drama. That is correct. Uh, if there is drama, like I, uh, again, it just 
Oh fuck! I ate all my I, I ate all my stamina shit to uh to climb a mountain. <laughs> then no horse for you. Look at how much stamina I can get back. Nothing. You think that's gonna you're wasting it because that's not gonna do the trick. Yeah, but I get a little bit. Yeah, but you're still not gonna get the horse. Yeah. Does anything else give me stamina? What do the mushrooms do? I gotta cook them first. Oh, uh, sorry. I gotta cook them. What does this potion do? Switch monsters. Used to punch up dishes while cooking. Yeah. Rich, just avoid Far Cry 5. It's boring. I'm just, I'm, no, I'm just curious about the review controversy, not playing the game. <laughs> All right. Nope. Ow. Well, dang. I gotta come back for you, horse. Go down and I'm gonna go down to that stable and cook more stamina meals. Give it one more try. Maybe we can crack that nut. Come on! How did I get you the first time? Maybe I had more stamina. Stop running away! I'm just gonna chase you. I'll wear you out. That's something I can do, right? This horse is gonna jump off a cliff. How does it feel to know that this July, the Dark Knight will be ten years old? It feels like time will be progressing at its proper pace. As it's been ten years since the movie came out. That's amazing. That horse just murdered me. <laughs> Alright, horse. I'm coming back for you. That horse almost murdered me. Ay, ay, ay. Fucking horse. How do I get back up there? I can mark that on up there. Alright. Fucking horse, Rich. We're gonna get that horse. No, we're not. I'm gonna get that horse. You're gonna have to make a lot of fucking stamina potions, Jack. I'm gonna get that fucking horse. <laughs> you're, if you can find it, if you can find it again, did you mark the map? I did. I did. Okay. I, okay. I just put the blue thing. That's why I I, I, uh, I put the blue marker up there. That's where it is. It's up there. It's up there. Go. Make me some stamina potions real quick. I gotta wait till it stops fucking raining. Apparently. Gosh, dang it. It though. I'm gonna get us a horse. It's gonna be great. What's this? Boom. You're mine. Some mushrooms. Great. Boom. Boom. Hi, dog. How's it going? Rich, please play the Bloodborne DLC on stream. Yeah, we did once. I was gonna say, didn't you already? Yeah, I beat uh, Ludwig yeah. with the with the chat's help. I didn't do that shit on my own. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's raining. I can't cook. God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Can't do anything in this game when it's raining. <laughs> climb up the climb. Yeah, I know. Isn't that annoying? <sighs> Sometimes. I kind of hate that touch. I get it. I get it. Uh, you know, adds a little dice roll element. Buy some shit from Beetle. Hey, Beetle. Oh, thanks. Mm. Nama says, hey guys, today is my birthday. Also, as someone named Chad, I can attest I totally miss here chat as my name and think you're talking to me. Thanks for unintentionally boosting my millennial ego. Yep. Welcome, you filthy millennial. Aha. Thanks, Beetle. Beetle's gonna sell me some crickets. I can add those to monster parts and uh, get uh, get uh, boosters. Great, great. Get out of here. Get out of here. Thanks, Beetle. Alpaca Death Traps. Tra De Alpaca Death Trap says, "Rich, 
Because of RLM commentary tracks, I have watched Alien vs. Predator, Batman and Robin, Justice League, and Rogue One. I hope you are happy with yourself. Yeah, kinda. I'm happy, I'm happy to have entertained you with a wonderful commentary track. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're welcome. You think it was fun watching Justice League again to do the commentary track? <laughs> it's such a boring movie. <laughs> it's such it a is. boring movie. It's worthless is the word I would use. It's a worthless movie. <laughs> there you go, Rich. You know? There you go. Worthless. That's a good way to put it, too. That is a good way to put it. All right, you know what? I'm gonna, I gotta switch controllers. This guy's almost out of battery. Uh oh. And I don't have. Uh oh, you going to Joy-Con mode? Go oh my god. Go oh go my Joy god. Gotta go full Joy-Con. How are you? How are you gonna tame that horse with Joy-Cons, Jack? No. Boom. Going full Joy-Con. Oh, these, oh, these feel, these feel terrible. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wait, what is that ingredient? Tired Sad says. Do you I know think what that is? What? What is that ingredient? Bamboo. It's bamboo. been a while since I've played. Maybe bamboo. Maybe bamboo. I never noticed that. The recipes on the wall. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's cool. Yeah, that's everyone's cute. Every once in a while, I'll take a picture of it. You know, I get some ideas for I recipes. Just never noticed. Little detail, never noticed it. Yeah, that's no, cute. It's great. That's that first stable, isn't? It? No, it's not. It's near the beginning. But it's not the one with the big metal with the horses behind it. No. I saw that valley. I thought it was. No, no. This is the one. Uh, you know, the, uh, this is the. Uh, okay. This is the Great Plateau here, and so this is that one. And that's to the, the one left. on the other side of the big arena where you fight the centaur. Yeah, yeah. I think you're probably thinking of this one. Yeah. Maybe this one. Just waiting for it to stop raining. Hey, dog. You're my friend. Oh. Did you ever do this with dogs? Did the Joy Cons it? suck as controllers? I'm, I'm exaggerating. I, I do greatly prefer the. Um, the actual controller though oh yeah like th these will do in a pinch and actually like i i i almost kind of prefer them come here dog i almost prefer them without this thing actually i might just do that for a little bit because that'll probably be more, like you know yeah two for them come here dog spin spin with me uh but but even two for they're they're not quite right yeah, there you go. There you go. He's now he's spinning. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Uh, they're not quite perfect like this. The chat is wanting to see the DLC, Jack. Where? Uh, I can't. I, do I didn't even know where it is. I can't do the Any DLC of it? yet. No, the the uh, the DLC. Hold on. I have all the DLC. Yeah. Okay, so there's master mode, a harder mode that will put your courage and skills to the test. What? Is that, is that what you're doing? No, no, I, I'm just doing the regular. Okay. Hero's path mode, uh, th this shows you every place you've been on the map, which is kind of neat. Uh, the travel medallion is something I could get uh, that you can place anywhere and then teleport to a place not that's not necessarily a, uh, okay. a, a thing. Uh, different, and these are just... Uh, uh, bonuses like a mask right and a treasure and uh, some bonuses up in the uh the great plateau where are the challenge dungeons so that is in the the trial of the sword but i need the master sword okay so okay. i can't do that the ancient horse gear i already got one okay apparently there's a book containing rumors about the uh oh the highland stable where's the highland stable i could i could uh I need the ancient saddle. Okay, so here in the Champions Ballad DLC, I need to wait until I have all of the Mythical Beasts done before I can start it. 
but apparently it adds a rather meaty amount of content. Yeah. So, but I, I haven't, uh, I've only gotten one uh, Mythical Beast. Huh. So I can't do any of the DLC. What I will do is keep playing this, and once I get to that point, I'll bring it back and you can see the DLC. What was the Highland Stable Rumors one? Am I in the Highland Stable? Where am I now? What stable is this? Outskirts Stable. Okay, where's the Highland Stable? That you? Is the DLC free in this game? No. No, no, it's it's 20 bucks for both of them. I roll. Horse armor. I'd say it was a joke, but we're talking about Nintendo. They're probably oblivious. Oh, yeah, yeah. They are, because there is horse armor. Yeah. So I only have Probably three. done completely obliviously. Highland Stable. Oh, you know what? I haven't even... I don't even know where the Highland Stable is yet. Where's the Highland Stable? Trial of the Sword is amazing. Well, Jack needs the sword. I need the sword. I don't have the sword yet. Right now, it, I, I, I need to wait for it to stop fucking raining. That's what I'm working with. How many hearts do you need for the sword? Oh, right. Like 15? 12? God, I don't remember. All right, now it stopped raining. Now I need to start a fire. Oh, no, they started a fire. Thank you. All right, Jesus. Jesus H. Crispy. All right, all right. How does this work now? I got some bugs. I got some bugs, Rich. Where are my bugs at? Cook with monster parts to create a stamina recovering elixir. Boom. Hold and monster parts. Tired and Sad says, Have you watched Ricky Gervaisius? Gervais? Gervais. Richie Gervais's Netflix special. It sucked. Uh. Most of it was him talking about how offensive his material is, which it isn't. I'm getting tired of comedians just whining about audiences. I didn't even know he had a Netflix, new Netflix uh, I here Here's, uh, I saw one of his promotional images yeah. for his Netflix special, which was him shirtless uh, with the word atheist written across his chest. Yeah. Holding a microphone like a cross, a microphone stand yeah. like a cross with a crown of thorns. And I said, you know, I don't need to watch this. We're past the point of that material being too edgy. Right. And and is, so it's just like that... Like when, when George Carlin did it in the 90s, it was like, whoa, he's going there. Right. Right. Well, it's yeah. It's a Netflix special where I'm sure another comedian is talking about his asshole prolongedly. Like, yeah, it just doesn't matter. And so I that it just didn't look like anything I'd be interested in. I need more, apparently. More restless crickets. What are they talking about? A stand-up comedian special. There we go. That's it. They're saying that wasn't for the special. It was stupid as fuck, but it wasn't promotion for the special. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, then. Well, it was enough for me to say, I'm, I think I'm done with Ricky Gervais for a little bit. How about that? George Carlin wasn't particularly edgy about it. That's just straight up high school teacher. At the time, George Carlin did stand up material about there being no God. I don't I don't think it was common. No, I wouldn't say it was common. Can I mix you with Monster Parts? Yeah. What? It's a weak ass elixir. Maximum hearts isn't gonna help. Attack power isn't gonna. I have nothing that will help me with endurance here, Rich. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Iron shell crab. Bra oh wait, maybe this one. Oh okay, never mind. I got a. I got a couple. I got a couple crabs. You're gonna help me with endurance.
There we go. Okay, now I got two full stamina recharges. We're going back. Back to that fucking horse. Gonna get a new horse, a better horse. Honest question, when did... Oh, God. Ooh. I gotta find the, find the comment. Honest question, when did There Is No God reach a cultural tipping point in America? What do you mean by cultural... What do you mean by tipping point? Like where it's a common thing? Because we're, we're just kind of getting there now. I can't think of... I can't think of one politician that has been at least openly a non-believer. Like a big, a major politician. Like a major, yeah. No, no. I know that was the big deal with uh, with Obama during the election. Is you know he he was saying like well you know that he went to church here and then they found those uh, videos of his of his pastor talking all crazy. Mm -hmm. When, you know, the, tr the truth was he was probably just like most Americans and didn't go to church very often, so didn't know that that pastor was kind of crazy. Bernie? Okay, when pressed, Bernie is Jewish. When pressed? When pressed. He he's kind of skirted the issue, but also, you know, Bernie's a, a senator of a pretty liberal state, like... Yeah. Not a... Not a... Uh, and while you know uh, a, a big a bigger name in politics, I wouldn't necessarily consider him a major politician. But then again, I guess who who would you besides a president, right? Once once uh, once a president is atheist, that's when we got we got some real deals. All right, that horse was around here somewhere. I guess that's what I'm saying. Maybe maybe that's what I'm saying by what I consider to be a major politician as a president. Look, 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 here's what we really need to talk about. Okay, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Anonymous says, did you see the tweet I sent leaking to a video about fan obsessions and theorizing ruining Star Wars? I'm sure people want you to watch many videos, but I think this one is very enlightening. Mm. Yeah. No. no, I don't want to watch the Star Wars video about the Star Wars and what ruined Star Wars. I just want to move on with my life. Yeah, that's why I didn't share it with you. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> so you got it. Well, yeah, I got yeah. the tweet. I get all the tweets. Rich. I just, I just don't care. Yeah, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of a filter for Rich uh, on what, what I think um, he will or will not enjoy. And sometimes, uh, if you say, "Hey, Jack, show this to Rich," I won't. Th th thank you for the tip, and thank you for sharing something that you, you thought was interesting. But I, I don't need it. I don't need it, man. I think Star Wars ruined Star Wars. I think the fact that people couldn't leave, leave Star Wars alone ruined Star Wars. They had to keep milking it when it was done. It was done in 1983, but just because of the popularity, they, they couldn't let it die. And that's what killed it. It was, it was already dead. It was used up. But then you just keep milking something that's dry. And that's my own take. Goat. Don't mess with me. I got. I'm going for a horse. You leave me alone. Come here. So capitalism horse. ruined Star Wars. Yes. On a roundabout way, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm putting. It, yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. What? What? How did I get kicked off? Ah! Flarg. Did you waste a... I wasted a potion, yeah. I got more. I, I think I waited too long. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you and I'm going to call you princess. And you're going to be my horse, princess. Is there anyone who can make a story spanning six movies and not have it eventually suck? Marvel? 
Oh my God! <laughs> Did you just get owned by Rich Evans? <laughs> Major Ponage! <laughs> I'm sure there's others. There's other examples. <laughs> all right, we're gonna not the it. same story for all films, though. That's not true of Star Wars either, and you know it. Ha-ha! You are mine! And I'm not going to call you Princess. I thought of a way better name for this horse, Rich. You know what I'm going to call him? Phantom. Phantom. That's okay. It's my cool horse name. Okay. Come on, Phantom. Yeah. Ha-ha-ha! See you later, horse. Look, there's my. There's the other horse that was kind of a dickhead. <laughs> Bye. Let's, let's hope it doesn't die before you get to a stable. Oh, my God. Oh my god, don't die. The tensest ride of your life, Jack. Don't die, Phantom. Phantom. Hey, see you later, dickhead. Horse. Get out of here. Favorite Star Trek episode? Who watches The Watchers? Season 3 of Next Gen. Settle down. Come on. Gotta go to the thing. There's a lot of good Star Trek episodes. Why not OJ? What, because it's a white Bronco? I, I appreciate that comment. <laughs> I, I appreciate that comment. Yep, that's a, that's a fine joke. Thank you for sharing it with us. TNG, TOS versus TNG versus DS9? TNG, TOS, DS9. Easy. Come on. Puff Max! Oh, sorry. Get off the thing, Phantom! Oh, God damn. Is, he, is he stuck? No, he's you, gotta get to, you gotta get to that stage. I, I know, and I like I wanted to move a little faster, but Phantom... Slowly, Jack, slowly. That's fine. It'll be fine. Walk to the stable. It'll be fine. Phantom, you settle down. I'm gonna give you some apples once we get to the stable. Come on. Call me shit. DS9 number one, what the fuck is wrong with you? Look, DS9's a fine show, but it's barely a Star Trek show. I, I talked to Lisa recently about about possibly, you know, watching Deep Space Nine. Because, you know, I, I asked her the same thing. Because, you know, she's a big Star Trek fan. Like, yeah. Uh, we, we've watched the original series over a couple times. We watched Voyager through and through. And I was like, hey, you ever, you know, you ever watch DS9? She's mm -hmm. like, no. I said, you want, you want, you think you want to watch it? Like now that we're older, maybe it's something we can appreciate. Oh, more. it's a good show. And, and yeah, and she was like, eh, maybe. And I kind of feel the same way, where it's like, eh, you know, I, I like, I like next gen, and I don't know if I, I, I'm sure DS9 does some very interesting things, but I might like next gen too much, where I don't want that feeling ruined by DS9. DS9 is the anti truck. Right. You've said that before. Uh, yeah. Look at, look at this horse. What are you, what are you doing? Broken. Why are you broken, horse? Thank you. Alright, let's go. So close. So close to the stable. My thoughts on species eight four seven two. Uh, unexciting. The the Borg killers. Yeah. Yeah. Underwhelmed. Yeah. My feeling is underwhelmed. Well, that was all part of a whole big underwhelming thing. The Voyager. Yeah. Vo Vo Voyager in general. All right. the, the Borg. Any appearance after Best of Both Worlds? Kind of. Uh, you know. Well, and, and it's just, we, we had, uh, there there could have been something interesting in, like, an alliance with the Borg. Sure, like, that was, like, that could have been a neat idea, but it was it was all mucked up in, in the Borg Queen and Janeway being Janeway. I kind of feel the same way I do about the Borg that I do about Star Wars. 
you you told the story. It's a very limited idea. You told the story. Now put it away. We're done. They don't need to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Phantom. What is that? P-H. Fan. I'm, I might spell it wrong, so tell me if I spell it wrong. Fan. Is it Tom? O-M? Nope, not N. I know it's not M. Is that Phantom? Yeah. Is that how you spell Phantom? Yeah. Okay. Ah. Dan oh, Danny Phantom. Uh, yes. Registration is complete. You're not going to mention the horse I murdered already? All right. How about you? Are you going to take an apple out of my hand? Yes, Iborg was a good episode. That, yeah, okay, the Borg had one fun appearance after Best of Both, both Worlds. Everything else was trash. What's that, What was Iborg? Uh, Hugh. Hugh, yeah, that's a good Borg episode. Where they take in a Borg like a pet. And you, you don't, never name him. Never name a pet. Naming, naming, naming that Borg Hugh ruin, ruined their wonderful plan that would have saved the galaxy from the menace that is the Borg. But don't you understand? <laughs> it's, it also is, is beautiful Star Trek morality. Yes, the, the reason why Next Gen is the greatest is because they have that morality. But isn't the life of this individual more important than compromising our ideals? <laughs> Fucking TNG. I, I will give it up to Iborg. It's a great episode. But I do think, in general, the, the the Borg didn't really need that much exposure after the best of both worlds. They were a threat with diminishing returns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As a concept that kept getting more and more watered down and destroyed. I mean, you're not wrong. Like Star Wars. Oh, there you go. All right, you know what? I'm going to board you. I'm going to board you. Horse, now that I caught you. You know what? The original movies were good. Yeah, a couple good video games. Everything else, trash. Ah. Fair enough, Rich, but aren't you at all further intrigued on how they work ah. in relation to further 8472 versus Federation conflict? No. I'd be fine if neither of those two races are ever brought up again. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Next Gen saved Hugh. DS9 would let the Cardassians murder Hugh. And that's really the difference between Next Gen and Deep Space Nine. Which is why I don't want to watch Deep Space Nine. <laughs> that's a, that's a, <laughs> which is why I'm very concerned about watching uh, Deep Space Nine. I'll make a couple pumpkins. Let's see what this does. Meat, some rice, and some pumpkins. All right. Got to get a cookbook. Is there a way to get recipes? How do you get recipes in uh in this? Is it is there, is there like a specific mission you do to get recipes? I think you just use your memory and experiment. And right. Every now and then somebody will say, "Why don't you mix this and this? It's a good treat." Right, right. You mark it down in your brain files. My brain files don't hold as much information as they used to. Too much read-write memory. <laughs> I already that dog is already my friend. I already pet him and he already loves me. He did the little I love I love you thing. Deep Space Nine is basically what if every TNG admiral was actually correct? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a great joke. You got it. You got it. Oh. Hey bird. Haven't you always wanted more Chief O'Brien? Hey, 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 say what you will. Miles is a good character. And he, he works better on Deep Space Nine because uh, amongst all of the war and the, the big important generals and diplomacy, he's just the normal schlub. Mm -hmm. Miles O'Brien works really well on DS9. 
Yeah. I can be with you there. TNG crew could be overly moral. Picard and others can be too perfect. But that's just what the show was. It was a show about ethics and morality. That's that's and a show <laughs> a, a, a show that whose mission statement was kind of to, to bring the audience a sense of hope by presenting us with with good moral people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> but that show could be too moral. <laughs> and I, I guess that's my problem with kung fu movies. It's just too much kicking. <laughs> What 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 is what is this, this is the point of the show, man? If that's not your taste. That's fine. But I'm just saying, <clears throat> if you're a fan of Star Trek, it's kind of the point. That's yeah. <laughs> this is. <laughs> Ooh, the dragon's back. Hey, dragon. The best the best episodes of Trek are the ones with Picard debating the morality of something. Damn straight. This is why I love Who Watches the Watchers. I just like a, I like a lot of a lot, a lot of next gen. And a lot of the reason I like it is because they they do they do right they do good. If Picard if Picard was any he, Picard is Superman, he just does the good thing all the time. Picard is Captain America. I need to I need to straighten out my uh, Darmok and Jalad. Your and awesome T-shirt, fan. You famously have this shirt, and uh, a fan very generously. Uh, made and sent me one. It's a great shirt. Yeah. The Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra Rock and Roll t-shirt <laughs> is uh, is a favorite of mine. All the non-Star Trek fans are like, what? <laughs> what? What? I, do, I have a problem in general wearing that shirt because most people think it's a picture of me as it's just <laughs> a... <bu> <laughs> it's what? just a bald guy holding a guitar. Wait, I fell down? What? <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, it's just a bald guy holding a guitar. So they're like, what, is that you on the shirt? What's happening? So that's generally my problem wearing it, but. What is that? What is that? I don't know. That's something I want to visit later. Boom. This game is brilliant. Oh, wait, that's vaguely familiar. That's familiar. I forget. I forgot what it is. <laughs> but I've been on that ledge under that thing before. Right. I don't know if I have. I don't re I don't necessarily remember if I have. Yeah. Yeah. Is TNG metal? No. TNG is classical music. TNG is the stuff you're supposed to be listening to because it makes you smart. TNG is Mozart. Mozart. Mm-hmm. TOS is classic rock? Uh, no. No. No, I like I, I like Rich's uh, uh, initial assessment that it is classical music. But TOS, no, the original series. If, if TNG is is classical music, okay. what is TOS? I don't oh. Think, I don't oh, think sure. classic rock fits TOS. You know what TOS is? Yeah. 
It's uh, it's sticks. It's prog. Cla it's it's like techno classic rock where that's a little bit cheesy. <laughs> come I think, I think come it's just... sail away in Mr. Roboto. That is. Oh, what was that? Falling star. What is that? Falling star. You don't know what that is? No. Falling star. What's a falling star? It's the thing you get. You can use it to upgrade your your outfit. What? Well, some of your outfits. Shit! I gotta get to it. Can I teleport? Will it stay there? It'll stay there. It goes away, I think, at, at daytime? It doesn't last forever. But I don't think... Teleporting won't take it away. Okay, okay, okay. Well, shit, shit, no, I, I've never gotten a falling star before. Sticks, fuck you. That's uh, that's what TOS is. It's I, Domo Origato Mr. Roboto. I, okay, I think I think TOS and TNG, they're both classical music, just two different writers. Mm. Two different composers. Amadeus versus Mozart. Or Amadeus versus whatever, one of the Chopin. No, who is the, uh, who is Stagliari? Who is his? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever, man. Play Stagliari or whatever. Oh my God. What is, oh my God. Oh my God. It's right there. Jesus, Jesus. I gotta, I gotta hurry. I'm so pumped. I don't know if I read this. Puff Max says, good news. Partners was a smash hit at Bad Movie Night I brought it to. At the Bad Movie Night I brought it to. Of course. The bad news? Now Partners uh, is now sold out everywhere for all my friends that want it. <laughs> oh, that means, that means you got a one-up on them, so you're welcome. <laughs> we just hmm? made you the cool one. Hmm, I wonder why. Thanks, you hacks. You're welcome. Yeah, like the amiibo outfits, they were all—they all needed like the stars to uh, upgrade. They're good for something else too. I don't remember what it is specifically. I have never run across this in my entire playthrough of the game, and I beat the game. I think it's like an, an ingredient in like one of the ultimate cooking recipes or sure, something weird. It's sure. got some other use. I have never run across a shooting star. But they're pretty rare, and farming them was a pain in the ass. A mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. It looks like it would fetch a good price, but you may be able to use it in certain recipes as well. Well, sh Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. Can I drop it? What if it disappeared after you dropped it? That would be terrible. <laughs> would you cry? Oh, I can't. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't cry, but... Wait, you wait. can't? No, I can't. Well, or, you know, because if you take a picture of, like, mushrooms, you get that, right? You sh it should. Um, and then you can uh, add it to your... That's weird. ...compendium, but you can't do that for the star, which is very weird, right? So because you dropped it? I don't know. Isn't that as strange? I'll just take a picture of it anyway. Yeah, it does. That a star fragment does not get added to the compendium. Huh? Huh? Oh shit! Well, I got it. Great. Great. All right. Now where were we? Where were we? Oh fuck! I was doing a thing. What was I doing? Oh, I was way over here. That's right. I was doing a whole thing. I was gonna. I'm gonna go. Uh, my plan is I'm gonna go talk to uh, Cass. And then we can call it a night. Okay. Aimless Corsair says, I've had a real issue with binge drinking. I've made a point to spend this month sober. And honestly, I've had some of the most fun evenings with friends while sober. Good for you. I can remember them. Good for you. Good for you. That is another thing I worry about. Because, you know, like when, when I do drink, you know, and, and I, I, I've, never, I've never had that moment where it's just like, I've wo I've woken up and I uh, like I blacked out. I didn't know what I, what I was doing. But like there are some mornings where it's like ah, I drank a little too much. Maybe I was a dickhead last night. You know, like yeah, yeah. I, again, nothing where it's like oh, did I punch a cop? <laughs> I never had that moment. But 
You know, I, I, you worry that you're a dickhead. Oh, ooh, Silent Princess. I need that. Upgrade upgrade some outfits. Uh, so, yeah, that happens sometimes. There, there are some nights where you just have certain regrets. Regerts. So there ain't nothing wrong with saying, hey, hey, I'm going to take it easy. Good for you. Retro Mania Joe says, have you guys noticed chromatic aberration or edge fringing while playing Bloodborne? Not really. I've seen other players with similar issues with it, citing eye strain and headaches after prolonged exposure. Thanks. Uh, I have not noticed anything, no. Singularity 4321 says, have either of you read much George Orwell? 1984 is easily my favorite novel. I've not read much George Orwell. I am familiar with 1984. I've seen the movie. And uh, Animal Farm was him too, right? I'm going to say yes, but I could easily be wrong. Yeah. How is this going to do it? Am I going to get up there? Am I going to get up there the easy way this time? Uh, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I've read Animal Farm because I think everyone had to in school. Yeah. Uh, I didn't read 1984, but I've seen the movie. They're making a new series of 1984, right? Series? Yeah, they're making it uh, like an Amazon or an HBO Oh, okay, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I think you meant like a... Something like that. The ongoing adventures in, in, the, <laughs> in the 1984 universe. I, first of all, I don't think they would phrase it that way. <laughs> Heart pounding action in the 1984 universe. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying, Jack, do you mean Fahrenheit 451? Which which one were you talking about? Oh, maybe I am. Maybe there's it's a Fahrenheit 451 series. The, that was a Bradbury. What's 1984 again? They're both uh, dystopias. Uh, 1984 is the one with Big Brother. Big Brother is watching. Not book burning. That's Fahrenheit. That's Fahrenheit 451. I am confusing. I am mixing them up. Right? Okay. I, I am absolutely mixing them up. Madam says, the best thing about Star Wars prequels are the memes. Okay. Nana says, I know why Cobalt killed himself. He learned it from you, Jack. He learned it from you. Cobalt! Nana says, hey, Jack, try spitting. That's a good trick. Also, since you got the switch out, <laughs> you should give Splatoon 2 a try sometime. Ooh, dingle. It's better than Overwatch. Uh, no, I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. I do know that they're adding a... Uh, DLC to Splatoon 2 that really beefs up the single player element. Yeah. Which uh, I hear good things about, but. Poke Alex in the eye says 7 and 8 may have rehash plots, but at least Ray, Finn, and Poe and Kylo are interesting and you can root for them. I don't know if you can root for Kylo. Uh, I, I think uh, a lot of people want him to be redeemable, but no, I, you know, he's a, he's, a bad, he's a bad guy. Well, and you know, in Last Jedi, there is that, there is that, uh, the tease, yeah, the root for Kylo tease. So yeah, I know people despise Rey. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't care why. I think she's fine. She's fine. She magically knows how to be a Jedi. So did Luke. I... She's fine. Fine actress. I don't hate her character. And in that way, the new movies are more redeemable than the prequels. Mm -hmm. ah. Oh, look at this game. It's so pretty, Rich. The game is so pretty. Uh. She's a Mary Sue. Why is it? Why is this bad? It's like I don't, I don't think Mary Sue means exactly what you think it means. I know it, it, the definition got all fucked, thanks to dickheads. It got all fucked. Oh. It meant it used to mean something fairly specific. Yeah. Uh, it was a blatant author insert. 
originally. Right. And now people just use Mary Sue to mean someone who's competent. Nice. Okay, great. We're doing great, everybody. We're doing great. Whoa. Bird. Everything's great. What is that? Like by the by the st by the the standard that Mary Sue currently has, Batman is a Mary Sue. Because Batman is good at everything. Batman has years of, years of training and he works really hard. And is so Batman, Batman is also um, a, a dude. Like the years of training, which is nothing. It's nothing like that. Nothing like, like that. I'm, I'm not even gonna assume that the gender has anything to do with it. I'm it's not. It's not. It's not. I'm, like I'm not. Um, I, I didn't want to. Because if you go down that road, you end up into garbage politics, and anything anyone says doesn't matter. They're just gonna s scream. <sighs> Um. Yeah. I, the the only uh, the only thing is this kind of nonsense because characters like Ray have existed before, uh, but it only came up with Ray. I have to assume that at least part of the whining is is gender bias, just because it would have come up earlier. All right, well, I talked to Cass. I'm good. I'm here. I'm ready. We can call it. Oh, we got a, we got a ton of tips today, so I'm not oh, even, well, I'm shit. not even close to caught well, up. Shit, then catch up, and I'll 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 keep moving. I'll I'll keep. I think I'm gonna head uh, I'm gonna head towards that tower over there. Get stuck in Captain the rain. President says, "Hey guys, Captain S President." Some games, like Soma or Uncharted, would be better as movies than games. Yeah. I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah. Which movies come to mind that would make better video games than movies? That's a harder give. They'd probably be terrible movies, so I wouldn't give them much thought. Right. I, yeah, that's, a, that's a harder thing, because gameplay mechanics are very different than storytelling yeah, mechanics. Yeah, yeah. The, the the problem is not many people realize that gameplay mechanics are different than story mechanics. <laughs> and so they try to <laughs> fill their game full of story mechanics and less gameplay mechanics. Last Jedi? No, that would be a very boring game. Everyone would lose. Everyone would lose. Oh, shit. I got to climb this mountain now and it's raining. Gosh, dang it. We don't appreciate it, says. How's it going, guys? Hi. I've been a fan of RLM and prereq for years, but as I'm poor, I never tipped. That's okay. Until now. Question. What is your method of dealing with depression? This is a serious question, and you should not be asking two jackasses who stream on Twitch for a, a, a legitimate answer if you're dealing with depression. You should talk to people who are close to you and 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 just get some get some tips from somebody who's much more qualified than us You're spitting truth rich yeah You're spitting absolute truth and you know that's also just good advice for how to deal with depression just talk to the people around you yeah 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 and it's okay it's okay to talk to the people around you about how you're feeling Uh, that's an okay thing to do. Don't be ashamed of it. Everyone feels down sometimes. Thought Jack was a therapist? Nope. We are completely we are completely unqualified to answer we your are, question. We're barely qualified <laughs> to be two idiots that play video games on Twitch. Right. Most of the time. So But but good luck. Yeah. 
But don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to, to, to get a little, uh, to be emotionally honest with people around you. I think that's what locks people into cycles sometimes. Is they, they, they're afraid to speak. I thought you to weren't feelings. a therapist. <laughs> Let's set cycles. I'm right? spitting Please. truth, Rich! <laughs> Be with me! All right, Dr. Jack. Be with me here! <laughs> Be emotionally honest with yourself. It's okay to feel sad sometimes. Woo! <laughs> what are you going to do? The, the anti depression <laughs> rap? <laughs> it's okay to have a me day. <laughs> Don't judge yourself by other people's standards. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you see, that's why you don't listen to any of our advice. <laughs> You're welcome. Tomcat twenty ninety six says, "Hey guys, hi. Hope you're doing well. It's been a long time since I caught the stream. You guys are my favorite ways to distract myself from writing a media literacy theory paper. Thanks, guys." You're welcome. Media literacy theory paper. Back when I had to write papers, I did my best work at 3 a.m. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Just st staring there at a blank screen for hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. And then 3 a.m., I'm thinking, geez, I can only get two hours of sleep. And then ah, I would just come. Hmm? Out of necessity. Sure, sure. <laughs> Nothing but necessity. Sure. I never, I never, I never had that problem because I, I'm, 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 I can, uh, speaking of barely being qualified to, you know, stream video games, I can spew absolute nonsense for hours at end. <laughs> Just bleh, anything. <laughs> I can talk about any topic for as long as you like. You know, the, the problem for me was always, you know, editing that down into something, you know, coherent. But I just, bleh, I just block it out. Jack's poop story is a good example of that, right? But then you got to edit it down. That's when the work begins, but regimented scheduling. All right. Uh, Machete Bug says, do either of you watch Science and Futurism with Isaac Arthur? A neat YouTube channel that tickles the sci-fi and science centers of my brain. Hmm. Figured one of you nerds might enjoy it. I've never even heard of it. I don't no, know. No, mark it down. I've, I've never heard of it either. What's it called again? Uh, science and Futurism with Isaac Arthur. Science and Futurism with Isaac Arthur. Tired and Sad says, do you think George Carlin or even Sam Kinison would do well in this hypersensitive era? I feel like it makes comedians like Gervais lazier because it's easier to offend people now. I don't think Carlin or Kinison would give a fuck. And they would still they be They would great. still be great. And they would still be great because of it. <laughs> uh, also, I really don't... I honestly don't think there is this hypersensitivity world that everyone complains about i think there's just complaining i really don't think th I, there I think, there are still i think people are hypersensitive about the hypersensitive which is why talking about any kind of this sjw anti-sjw political garbage mm. is useless and nauseating but that's the thing i don't think there is the first hypersensitive thing that the people complain about in the first place and so it's just people complaining about nothing that's all it is is nothing Gobbledygook says, Rich, you've mentioned for Star Wars and the Borg that their story is complete and you don't need to revisit it. Will you have children someday? And if so, will you want them to find their Star Wars? I probably won't have children someday, but if I their do... Their Star Wars? They can find their Star Wars. Why does it have to be Star Wars? Can't you have a new property that is entertaining? Well, their Star Wars would be a new property. I think he just means that their Star Wars has to be Star Wars Part 20. 22 and 23 uh, not 21 because that one sucked first of all you're right. i think that's what they mean and no they people can invent new franchises p 
people can invent new franchises. That's true. Eh, eh, nope. Fuck. Did I gotta hit the other one too? Should have just burnt this thing down. There we go. There we go. Oh, good. I get my arrows back. I was like that about this game. If your arrows don't hit an enemy, you can go pick them up. Mm -hmm. That's neat. Falcon bow. Shit, yeah. Oh no, I want the falcon bow. So I got a weak ass bow in here. Get rid of one of these guys. Falcon bow. What's this generation's Indiana Jones? Uh, I don't know. Guardians of the Galaxy? They don't they don't need the same thing regurgitated verbatim. Guardians isn't bad. I'm sure there's a better example. I uh, uh, Future generations can have new things. What is this? Ready Player 1? <laughs> Anonymous says, Have you seen any of Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 3? Despite the clumsy course correction in Season 2, in the Season 2 finale, it hit the ground running and still fun as fuck. Still, still fun and sick as ever. I didn't even know it was out. I heard it was out. I'll, oh. I'll, I'll, I'll probably catch up on it when, when it's done. I, I didn't even, uh, I, I didn't even know. I perform, I prefer my, my entertainment in the form of binging. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was really upsetting. Legion came back. Yep. Really amazing show on on FX. And oh oh, Legion's out again. Okay, let's and, and you know Lisa and I watched last night. Like oh yeah, new episode. New was great. Okay, next. Wait, what do you mean? There's only one episode. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we have to wait yeah. like animals. Yeah. 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 Oh, it was terrible. Huh. Huh. Are you? Can I not see? Get up! Oh, ain't nothing. Something there. Huh. Ditsy87 says, Just me and my seven-month-old at home tonight. He just started crawling. Thanks for keeping me entertained while I keep him entertained. You're welcome! Do we do what we can. <clears throat> Three more. Pyrotex Core says, Will Jack lose Phantom like he did with Cobalt? Will the camera slowly zoom in on Rich while he cackles? <laughs> Find out on the next episode of 1984. Keep up the great entertainment, guys. And Jack, buy eggs. Thank you. That, that was a quality, well-rounded tip. Yeah. That was great. We don't appreciate it, says Jack. You should be a therapist after that beautifully put anti-depression rant. Here's another tip to milk the stream a little more, just as Disney is milking Star Wars. Thank you. I'm just, just trying to trying to spit some truth here. Trying to figure out what I need to do. What do I need to do with this puzzle, Rich? I've been staring at it for a while. Molecular Lionel says, Rich, Jack. Glad you're back, fellas. Should check out the hit movie Lockdown. It's by the same director as Kill Point and Low Blow. It's awful anyway. Thanks for the stream. Have a nice Sunday. Okay. Low Blow? Low Blow. Low Blow. Low Blow. Lockdown, huh? Okay. But does it have the same actor? Is low blow in it? Whoa. That's the important part. Low blow is the national treasure. Is Cameron Mitchell in it? It's not even. It's not even my doing, Jack. And I think the chat's about to go into emote only mode. Oh no! What did they do? <laughs> what did they do? No, no. What did you do, chat? 
Like, I didn't even need to poke the bear this time. <laughs> <laughs> Chat. You, got, you guys get yourself into trouble more than we do. What lucky actor will get the low blow job? Oh, Leo Fong is still around. <laughs> Leo Fong is still alive. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. That's craziness. Chad, what did you do? You're a bad Chad. Leo Fong has been dead inside since low blow. Uh, low blow might have been Leo Fong's magnum opus. We don't know. Spirit orb. We should interview low blow. He's 112. He won't understand what we're saying. I don't know. I don't know. Great. Are you are you there? I mean, I'm. Oh, I've been there. Oh, I've just we're, been we're, waiting I'm, for you to catch I'm up. I'm caught up. Oh, well, great. I'm caught up. Be all caught up. Oh, here we go. I got a. There's a. There's a stable down here. You have to save your horse. Whoa, whoa! That guy needed something. Hold on. Hey, dude. What you looking at? Hold on. What's he looking at? If we tried VR, not for six hundred dollars, we haven't. Right. We need to like dedicate a whole room to that shit. Some some VR setups, yeah. You need you need like no. the sensors in the right yeah. place. Uh, yeah. Fuck that. Hello. Get my horse back now. All right, I'll save here. Save. Great. Great. Six hundred dollars. You guys have ATST meme money. Look, I don't make any money off the memes. Yeah, I know. Every but, time, every time that gift loops, but, Rich gets one quarter of a penny. Five six hundred dollars. It's gonna go into a new video card or something. Right. It's something useful. <laughs> Something that you might use more than once and forget about. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, we, we could use a new laptop for in here because oh, yeah. this one is, is slowly dying. We've talked about that. Mm -hmm. We need one. Mm-hmm. I was thinking I was thinking about like, you know, if I if I should get like a utility laptop, like something that we could also use outside of the stream. So, you know, spend oh, yeah. a little extra money, use it outside of the stream, but well, I I'm I'm looking into them. For like a Pokemon Go stream. <laughs> something well. Right. Or, you know, if, if we need to, I don't know, do something outside, like, do we spend a, a, f a couple more hundred dollars to get a n slightly nicer? Well, if you had a, a, a laptop with some kind of mobile Wi-Fi functionality, sure. you, could, you could stream from that, right? Maybe? I don't know. Maybe? I don't even know if Pokemon Go is still a thing. I, I is don't it know. dead? No. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's my that's uh, that's my final offer. I don't know, Rich. I don't know. <laughs> Pokemon Go. It's still kicking. Great. Oh, excuse me. Okay, hey. Now is the time of the stream where we thank all the people who subscribe to us during this very stream, much like Alex McLean 93. Suggest 22. Doyle871, who says, Woo, eight months of giving you Amazon money. Thank you. Take that, Bezos. <clears throat> I last 1984 slash S for 34 fucking months in a row. I shall rise again. Lapel. 
Solo. Solo. Five, six, seven for 27 fucking months in a row. True Blue Review for 17 months in a row. It says, a prank like that is why I subbed you hack frauds in the first place. Keep up the great work. Uh, for the, some people might have missed yeah. the, the prank. Yeah. I, I, I had some Amazon uh, Echo uh, uh, pranks going on with my neighbor. It's great. Who forced me to water their cat. Got to water the cat every day. Lyst. Lyrsty. Maybe is the name. Darkwing Schmuck. Says RLM has brought so many wonderful, obscure movies back into the spotlight that I think it's only fair to give a McGullen for bringing back Freddy Fingered. <laughs> not, <laughs> not my idea. <laughs> Fish Facade. Almost Sun Tzu. What do you think, Jack? What do you think? I'm, 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 un, I'm uneasy reading quotes. That could be a quote from some unspecified person who you don't want to quote. I know this probably isn't. How do you feel about this? And should I just move on or should I read that? I would air, I would say read it. I, I just read it in my head and it's like, eh, it looks like it's a, it's supposed to be a, a clever, funny thing. So okay. I say read it, but do you, you know, listening to me is a, is a gamble in itself, Rich. The field of battle is like the mongoose. Slow to joviality, but thirsty for morning sunshine. There you go. Rich, these are my quotes, damn it. I don't fucking know that! You could be a weirdo! We don't know who you is! We don't know what you has! Not Captain Picard! Says, happy diddying, diddying the Kong. Uh, where, 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 where are we at? Mo Mike one two three four says serious question. Jack, the porn studio asked you permission to use the fuckpot five thousand character for a sci-fi porn parody. Would you say yes? LOL. Probably not. How much are they paying me? Okay. How okay. Well, and uh, so here's the thing, though. Fuckbot Five Thousand is not just my creation. Mm -hmm. I would have to discuss it with with a few people. Yeah. Before giving permission, but you know, if they if they gave me some money, maybe spread that money around. I mean, you know, like I I was. I was there at the birth of Fuckbot 5000, but that doesn't just belong to me. Uh, Sonics 96. The Sheepsterful. Guar Funkel for 19 months in a row. Moments. Development Hack says, Hooray, six months. I'm glad to support you guys. Thanks for all the fun. You're welcome. Gutter Stars for 28 fucking months in a row. Says emoji with glasses. That is exactly what they say. Joe Kitty 001 for 12 months in a row. Who says, hey guys, been subbed for a year now and I think it's time for your review. Of what? Of what? Bron Shankno. Waffle tail for 32 fucking months in a row. Spooky dookie. Child of furniture. Oh my god. Barnamuck. Irish man, 36. This new subscriber for 24 fucking months in a row. That's a penny for 18 months in a row. JKid08, 31 fucking months in a row. Says, hope you had a good weekend. Hack frauds. Thank you. We did. Then we did. Titus, 84, for 19 months in a row. Bill LaHecka for 45 motherfucking months in a row. Says, 45 months, we finally get Diddy Kong racing. Hardly <laughs> seems worth it. 
So do we know what's the plan for the four-year people coming soon? It's coming really soon. I think I think we're just done a motherfucking. It's gonna get absurd, Jack. It's absurd. I think. I think that's what they're hoping for. What? It's, that it gets absurd. I mean, obviously. I'm f I'm f motherfucking. I think it's fine. Motherfucking. That's that's the cutoff. Every year we add another thing. Yeah. All right. All right. Every year we gotta add another thing on top of the fucking. Oh, I fucking sparklers next. Do you do you want to do that? No, I definitely don't oh. want it. That'd be a huge pain then, in the ass. And then and then for everyone who hits the four year mark, we have to wait for the entire sparkler to fizzle out. <laughs> no, just no. I'm vetoing that idea. <laughs> the idea was so dumb. I should have known not to say it because you were gonna love it. <laughs> just, just play it. And then just wait in silence for the, like, minute that it takes the whole thing to break down. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> no, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see what it is. Uh, Kaleidoscopic, who says, holy shit, thank you guys for finally playing Diddy Kong Racing, but what is your guys' favorite tidbit of history? For reals. I don't know, uh, top of my head, D.B. Cooper. I've always had a soft spot for that mystery. That's, that's a crazy one. Uh, I, I dig, uh... So, you know, something that I think I, I think is is now taken for granted in history is just the very concept of indoor plumbing. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I, I think it was the ancient Greeks who finally figured out like, hey, what if what if we just took all the shit and found a way to move it away from us? And I'm like, hey, I think you got something there. <laughs> <laughs> and also I've talked about uh, I think World War One is uh, is a, a war that's not uh, given its due because it's so weird horses fighting tanks yeah it's just, it's just so much more interesting sure two had a better villain I get it but horses versus tanks two has very clear heroes and villains absolutely it's an easier story much, to tell. much like the Civil War World War One that's some murky shit exactly that's why I kind of dig it okay World War One's just why? Yeah. Why? Carnage. There's no common sense here. Pure fucking carnage. It was so pointless. The, it's pointless. The soldiers knew it. The, the soldiers stopped fighting at some point. <laughs> just what are we doing, man? Yeah. 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 I think it's weird. I think it's interesting. Historically, obviously, a lot of people died. It's bad, but it's, it's historically. A uh, crooked spiral for 16 months in a row who says thanks for 16 wonderful months of awesome streams. Here's an excuse to say the name of the Amazon dot again. You gutless coward. You I'm cannot say Alexa. No, no, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to I'm being kind. I'm being <laughs> kind to all of our listeners who have an Amazon Echo device. You're welcome. Hellcat Striker. Says, are you guys going to play Battletech? My XCOM meets giant robots for the win. I need to see more about this new Battletech that's coming out. Yeah, that's a rich question. Kate, beep, boop. Edgar Allan Hopo for 21 fucking months in a row. Jack Lemon. Po folks. Man, that is moose. I like that one. Pretend deer for 16 months in a row. Digger Blue underscore for 18 months in a row says, Go Jets! Go! I assume you're talking about Benny and the. Or just the New York Jets. Is football going on now? No. Football's not going on now. No, it's over. So that's why I assume he's talking about <laughs> Benny and the. <laughs> Benny! Benny! Space Alien Super Cocaine for 23 fucking months in a row. <coughs> a Winnipeg Jets. It's hockey. Oh. It's a hockey. Jack. It's a hockey. Oh, I'm sorry. Benny! 
Winnie! <laughs> Winnipeg! And the Jets. Why does it say we're playing bad rats? Because that's left over from a joke I did at the start of the screen. At the start of the stream. And now that screen has come back after I came back from the end. It's fine. Oh, sure. Sure. Uh, super, space alien super cocaine says it's finally it happened. That's true. It, it, Diddy Kong finally happened. Oh, Diddy what? Kong finally happened. We can we can tuck that away now. Frog water. Oh, uh, odd tricks says almost a year. Orens. the real Veon for twenty nine fucking months in a row. Who says here's the important question? If you didn't know any of the references, would Ready Player One still be an eh, it's all right movie? Yes. yes. That's the correct answer. I'm, I'm sure I missed several references, and it's still an all right movie. M most of them are fairly in the background. Mm -hmm. Just like, oh, like eh, I know that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Most of them, until you get to the end, and they start throwing like, here's the Iron Giant! Here's the Spartan Soldiers! Chucky! Yeah, Chucky's oh, a that thing. was the worst. Chucky's a thing. That's cute. No, it's all cute. It's it's a perfectly it's it's by the numbers and it's perfectly adequate. Yeah. The surprise and the surprising part about it, the thing that makes it somewhat interesting, is that it should be a giant garbage fire. But fucking Spielberg, he's like, yeah, <laughs> I can make a movie out of this. Yeah. I can make a movie out of this. It's great. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? We're at J Bags Five. Arcaldi! Mike E9265. Kick Girl V for 24 fucking months in a row. Says happy two year anniversary to us. Indeed. War on God for 17 months in a row. Dear Voice. Dear, dear. Crazy Ivis. Gray Rat Six. Not Mark. 1008. Jimmy Lays for 15 months in a row. Lord of Mb. Sardan 3K says it's a three. There you go. Jehu Jeho. Pete's trying 11 for 38 motherfucking months in a row, says Jack and Rich. Give me a recommendation for a book you've recently read and a one to two sentence descriptor of why you liked it. You guys are always reading interesting things. Thanks. Well, as I am reading Ready Player One, I have not read anything interesting lately. Uh, Differently Morphous, the new book by Yahtzee. It's a it's a fantastic read. It's a it's cynical Harry Potter meets Dirk Gently the book, not not the show, and it's really great. You should definitely you should definitely listen to it. Also, it's an audio book because uh, he, he does a great job reading it. Yeah, you differently morphous. It's, it's been a while. The last the last one I read that was interesting, and I've probably mentioned this before, and you remember it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember the name. I can't remember the name. Okay. Oh, what's the? We are Legion. We are Bob. You've mentioned that you have mentioned that before. Yeah. It's it's on my list. It's uh, on your list. It's on my because uh, every month on Audible I get a free I get a free audiobook. Yeah. And I put that on my list for next month when I get my free audiobook. We are Legion. We are Bob. It's, a, it's the story of a, of an engineer who, mm. who 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 dies, but he paid to have his head frozen, and then years and years later, rather than like reviving him like you would think, you pay to have your head frozen. They take his brain, turn it into an AI program that they shove into a space probe that goes out into the galaxy and duplicates itself and charts the universe. It sounds and it's, great. it's a weird, interesting premise. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. It's definitely on my list. We are Legion. We are Bob. Uh, also differently Morphous. Give it a give it a chance. Ah. Uh... Akwekanu. Purple Space Bazooka for 38 motherfucking months in a row. Say, guys. 38 months of epic hack fraudness. It's true. So Are much. You planning to do another Sierra game soon? I had to travel recently, so I watched your police, uh, police Quest 1 slash Space Quest 1 runs on the long flights. Just magical. Please consider another one. Thanks. I'm sure it'll happen sooner or later. 
yeah and maybe it's time we move on to uh you know some point and clicks uh you know get maybe a, some classic day of the tentacle yeah there could be some decent voice work in there that could be fun puzzles you know different puzzles i've never played day of the tentacle uh those could be fun okay there's less you know reading in those probably well there's a lot of voice stuff you know like there, there's i think there, there'll be less like area descriptions i could be wrong but i think they have voices in the <gasps> game. do they yeah oh i don't want that i don't want that we'll see i guess we'll see uh where are we at oh, oh shit where's our where's our thing because because cosmo jester for 30 the string is missing for th Cosmo Jester for 36 motherfucking months in a row. Who's and you want to add to that. Huh? And you want to add to that. I, I want to up it every year. Up it. <laughs> up it, Rich. <laughs> up it. Up it. That was a pain in the ass, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> You're welcome, Chad. Uh, Cosmo Jester says, Pointless trivia, did you know the big brother from Home Alone does Kevin the Crazy Tinfoil Hobo in the new The Tick Show on Netflix? I <laughs> did know that, actually. And he's he, he's a, a fine actor as I gotta Kevin. watch that. That's done now, right? The, the full, whole first season I gotta is watch done that. You should. You should watch it. Been meaning that. to get to it. Yeah, yeah. The whole first season is done. Watch it, and we can talk about it. Okay. It's a great idea. Clone 2727 for 25 fucking months in a row says, Star Trek 4 review. You said that. That's the thing you said. Lucas Dukas for 30 fucking months in a row. Four, four is cute. I'm not that big on it. It's a gimmick. Which one's four again? They're, they're in modern time. Oh, that was the whales back in time. That was the whales. Well, yeah, it's cute. I'll take I'll take two and uh, uh, well, six was the good one. Yeah, six over four. Two is great. Two is amazing. Two is great. Two is Rath amazing. Rathacon. Mike would probably put six over two. I had to if I had to guess. Don't quote me on that. Which one's six again? Voyager? Undiscovered Country. Undiscovered Country. Yeah. 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 yeah that's all right. I'll I'll take two. Okay. I'll take two. And then I'm even because I'm because I'm weird me and I I like one. You are uh, four is going under one too. Yeah, even for me, it's like two, one, maybe. six. That that sure. cluster of good ones and four. Yeah. All right. Transparent aluminum. Ha 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 ha! What? Uh, easy peasy Japanesey. The Grim Panda. So say, guys, seven months and hopefully I can make it more. Keep up the kick-ass streams. Missed you guys last couple times. We weren't we weren't here the last couple times, so it hey, worked hey, out. It all worked out. <laughs> Just for you, the Grim Panda. <laughs> Mr. Space Platypus. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? This one. Okay. Bran. What is it? Bran flakes. Okay. There's a lot of small letters clustered together, and I'm an old man. Bran flakes. Four, five, four, seven. Old man Evans. Yeah. Casual horse. I do. I wish Cobalt was a little more casual today. The horse that killed himself. <laughs> On stream. He casually walked off he that casually cliff. casually just walked <laughs> right <laughs> off a cliff. He didn't, he didn't casually, too. He didn't run. He just <laughs> moseyed over the cliff. What were you doing, Cobalt? <laughs> For 28 fucking months in a row. Casual. All right, I think that's... Earthalite? N. So it looks like an R. That's an Enthalite. Enthalite? Okay. Yeah. Enthalite. JJ Cheeker for 27 fucking months in a row, who says, rest in peace, Cobalt. Pace 180. Tsnano. Retromania Joe. Hot dog buns for 19 months in a row, says, gold team rules. 
Fino Monopoly. Master Kenobi 007 for 46 motherfucking months in a row. Who says Breath of the Wild or Link to the Past for final boss and ending satisfaction? I have an answer for this. Specifically ending satisfaction? Final boss. Breath of the Wild. And end no, 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 no. Yeah. Ending satisfaction? Yeah. I, I would, uh... And Link to the Past? Yeah, you touch the thing, everything goes back to normal. You I, fight the pig. Yeah. I mean... I have a problem with the ending of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, what's up? I want to go and clean up everything now. Can you do that in Link to the Past? No, but Link to the Past is it doesn't have the openness that Breath of the Wild does. Okay. It doesn't have the world that Breath of the Wild does. Okay. After I, after I defeated Ganon, you know what I want? Here's here's my dream DLC yeah. for Breath of the Wild. Is let me play after I defeat Ganon. And this time, and because Ganon's done, there's no more Blood Moon. So when you kill an enemy, it stays dead. And then the what if you what if you like the enemies and you want them to keep coming back? Well, then and then in your new game plus, once you finally have all the new toys, the enemies start disappearing forever. Then it's an option. Then it's an option. But here's here's my dream DLC: is you kill all the enemies and they stay dead forever. And then the real game ends when you've completely cleaned up Hyrule. Your job is a knight. Okay. I would love that. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm not shocked it's not there, and I, I don't fault it for it, but mm. it, it'd be nice if you can go back to some of the towns. You got new dial, like post game dialogue. Yeah, like, I love that. Um, um, Brutal Legend did that. I always thought it was neat. Uh -huh. You go to areas after you're done, new things happen. You get a few new, like after the game ends, a few new little cutscene kind of things here and there. That would was be, neat. And I, I guess I kind of expected something like that with Breath of the Wild just because it was so open. It's so rare that a game does that. I don't know why you would expect that. I, it, it's just playing as, oh, yes, I can't. My, my, my thought was, like, I would love, I would love, like, for this game to keep going. But, you know, Ganon is defeated. You, you, you clean up. You kill every enemy in the game, every single enemy in the game. And then you get to, you finally get to, like, rest in the castle. Oh, I'd love that. That's what I want. That's what I want. Uh, so I would say that uh, Link to the Past is, is, a, is a pretty good uh, ending satisfaction. The final boss battle in Breath of the Wild, though, is pretty... Wait. No, the boss battle is kind of weak, too. Well, I mean, it's not the most amazing thing in Link to the Past, either. Oh, uh, you're right. Final boss battles in the franchise, uh, your winners are uh, uh, Wind Waker... Wind the pretty the epic. epic rain fight with Ganon. That was pretty epic. That's pretty epic. Twilight Princess is just the... Weak is the, sauce. Am That's, I thinking of the same thing? It's, it's just a sword fight with Ganon. But it's a bad sword fight. Oh, and he turns into the big pig again in in the you're, castle. What that, you're thinking of uh, Twilight uh, Princess. That's what I'm saying. Oh, I thought you were talking about Skyward Sword. No, Twilight Princess is the sword oh, fight. That's, that's not a bad sword that's good. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's a good ending. I, I prefer I prefer the, the Wind Waker ending. The Wind Waker is, is is a much better boss. And I, I I give the game shit all all the time, but I've never said it's a horrible game. Um, after that, I'd put uh, Ganon in um, Ocarina. Ocarina. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Those are the, those are the two best hmm. final bosses of hmm. the series. All right, yeah, I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Uh, what do we got here? We got Knox two hundred. Wilkins the Clown for 38 motherfucking months in a row. Menthols. The Noble Eskimo. Awesomeness. 518. Yeah, Twilight Princess would be third. The sword fight with Ganon's a fun sword fight. It ain't as epic as the fucking rain sword fight. The, the, well, rain. The ocean's falling on them. Well, oh, in Wind Waker. Well, and, but also but it's a fun fight. And combat in Wind Waker might be the most satisfying combat. Eh, I love no. com I love the combat in Wind Waker. Oh, you just felt you felt like the like the knight of time, the knight of courage. I love the combat in Wind Waker, rolling around your enemies, doing the what the thing. I loved it. So so Waker Waker flute and Twilight. I'm that's, with you. That's my final boss battle Zelda rankings. I like it. Uh, I can be with you there. 
Okay. I can be with you there. <clears throat> Sorry, where did we leave off? That's a great question. Uh, I said, I said, awesomeness five one eight. Brownie is zero. G shots for forty three motherfucking months in a row. Who said been sick? For a week with the flu, missed the dulcet tones of your streams. Your timing was very good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Well, no, they say they were sick and they wanted them. Oh. Uh, glad to see. I misunderstood. Online. Thanks for the enter. Like just hearing you would have made me barf. <laughs> That's what I Help think. Help cycle of. through that flu quicker. <laughs> oh God, I can't stop vomiting. <laughs> Uh, Subsonic Bell, who says, Jack, favorite two-player board games. Have you ever played The Rose King? Uh, I have not. Uh, two-player board game, uh, Time Barons is a good one. Okay. Uh, I've been picking up this thing called, uh, called, uh, Hex Bug. Okay. It's a two-player, it's like, it's basically like a different version of chess. It's like oh. a strategy board game. It's really okay. Neat. And, um... player though that's tough uh oh what was the uh what's the dragon game that's a pretty good two-player game what's the dragon egg game that's a good two-player game uh give me a second give me a second uh dragon question egg. number 16 game sausage toes for 40 f motherfucking months in a row says Tip my 40. Hive. That's what it's called. Not Hexbug. Hive. Thank you, Colonel Rich Mustard. There's a game called Hive, and that's like chess with bugs. Dan, 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 95. What's the dragon game? Fiery dog poop. Zell Hacker. Hatcher Dragon Ed game. What's it called? Psychor Games. Blue Fuels. Leftover like, beefcake for 41 motherfucking months in a row. It's like, um... This is watering cats, horse suicide, ball lube, lengthy poop stories, and Star Wars. Hooray. We're back to our regularly scheduled pre wreck And holy shit, we finally got Diddy Kong. Shocked emoji. There's a game called... Red Ranger! Oh, fuck. Just missed it. James Farr says, thanks as always, guys. Have a great evening. You hatch dragon eggs. Raspo like, 37. There's two players, Rich. Uh, you, you can play up to like four or five Wee players. Woo 92. But it has a really decent two-player game as well. Midnight Hero for 29 fucking months in a row. John D. Scarecrow says... Invent your own curse word. See if it catches on. You got it? I got it. What is it? It's called Underlings of Underwing. That's great. Lula yeah. Monster! Catch. And P. Dills! Who says, How is it that Jack is so right about literally everything? Follow-up question. Does Jack know what sarcasm is? hey -o! Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. B before I hit end. Yeah. And really, you're, you're probably going to thank me. Alexa, play Jeopardy. Alexa has a Jeopardy game. <laughs>